ओम शांति एवरीवन इट फील्स सो गुड इंटरनली टू थिंक ऑफ माय इमेज ऑफ बीइंग वर्शिपर दे the inner deep feelings of divinity purity love gentleness merciful <laughs> and most important is what baba said bestower of happiness remover of sorrow when anyone looks at me sorrows are gone and happiness is received i was thinking there is difference between image and idol image is living which we are at present and then we are worship the idols are worshiped from corporate onwards but to be embodiment and to be living at present and just feel seated on that throne deeply very calm very light very loving but as baba said giving happiness not i didn't give sorrow to anyone that's not a chart right but that is not accumulating not doing is not accumulating but giving is accumulating you know we always say that deities uh, or in hindi they call it devta means one who constantly bestow one who constantly give so we have to never stop giving and especially happiness love and uh, you know through our drishti giving everyone lots of feelings of belonging that's accumulating right so to be living image at present is sarup and then also image with all the divine virtues so beautiful and i was thinking that as much we use our powers we are able to inculcate virtues i saw the connection like when baba says if you have tolerance if you control anger or remain peaceful and divine so these are like using powers right and then it's possible to use virtues in our interaction with each other and that is what is needed at present to support each other on journey whether it's spiritual journey or on this journey uh, we have to settle lot of karmic accounts but also Uh, we have to cultivate we have to do saving uh, accumulate lot from doing whatever is positive pure and uh, helping everyone to remove whatever obstacles are there difficulties are there but become very supportive very helpful companions to each other on a spiritual journey that is why we are together right to share this companionship share this support with each other on the spiritual journey so attention on i am we are on spiritual journey and we all are companions and also it is so interesting you know i just uh, in meditation was feeling so good to just think of my own image of being worshiper we felt so good so good so i thought each one of you also must be feeling right very happy very divine very good very calm inside because there is no burden there are no desires contentment is there so when there is contentment there is joy happiness and then we move on towards the stage of consistent easy yogis 
consistent is a yogi. So that whenever, you know, if I am in a good stage, I am peaceful, there are no base thoughts. Connection with Baba takes a minute. You really feel so close to Baba. But if you are affected by sanskars, atmosphere, or someone's uh, whatever it is, then it takes effort to connect with Baba. So what happens at that time? There is very subtle obstacles, subtle disturbance, heaviness, what Baba calls it. So we have to be very careful of one thing is that my happiness my stage should not depend on anything of anyone. Each one of us, even if we are together, individually has to take care of one's own stage. When I think of myself, I say, you know, I, I always remind myself that I have to be ever ready. I have to be in my proper stage so that uh, soul is not only accumulating but ever ready, right? Ever ready in all different ways to do any service which comes or Baba calls for subtle service, any service, I have to be ever ready. So if I allow myself to be affected by the stages of others and because the stages I've already passed, others are passing now. But if I get affected by that, but if I say, yes, it's their time, they have to fix it, they have to make efforts and remain above. Mm -hmm. And that is called a lotus-like stage. Because to be easy yogi, you have to, your stage has to be seated on the lotus throne. And Lotus Throne, as I mentioned last time, we had beautiful things on being untouched, which is, which has to be easy, to be easy yogi. If that is not easy, yoga is not easy too. And Baba keeps saying, remember me, burn your sinful actions, Bhisato Pradhan, Manmana Bhav is the main subject. But I find it can really easily disconnect us from Baba. And if I am not with Baba, then there are no powers. And when there are no powers, then everything is difficult, right? It is not difficult. Maybe we make it difficult. So gradually moving towards the stage of easy yogi and consistent yogi. So for that, to be seated on the lotus flower, one has to be very light. No burden, no heaviness. And it's so subtle, you know, sometimes, yes, there is a lot of lightness, double light. And sometimes there is a little bit of burden. Burden could be of your own thoughts or your sanskars. It could be some kind of bondage from somewhere. So keep yourself, try to keep yourself very light. Drama, Baba is there, it's gone. And of course, yes, we all have different feelings from time to time. And there are certain things which require more tolerance because they are difficult. But I trust Baba that Baba definitely uh, will help me with my part I am playing and uh, not feel heavy about anything, not see anything difficult. But as much I surrender to Baba and we remind each other, someone was yesterday reminding me, oh yes, Baba is Karat Karamanhar, he will make it do and I said, that's we all know, right? But how much really we let our intellect 
surrender it to Baba. So then Baba can guide us. Baba will help us to do. He will give us the powers. Because it is his task and we are the instruments. We are his children, right? So whatever Baba is saying, so how to remain light? to be seated on the lotus throne. And when we are seated on the lotus throne, we could be very consistent and easy yogis. Now, consistent, if we are not consistent, is difficult. Because if we are connecting, then it's breaking. Then we connecting, then it's breaking. So it's a lot of work, right? Mama used to say if there is a thread of love for Baba and if keep break, breaking that thread you have to put one knot then another knot then third knot but the thread doesn't remain smooth right so how to make it consistent remembrance of Baba that the thread of love and this connection is not broken in between. So consistent and easy yogi, the stage needs to be lotus seated on lotus throne. And to be seated on lotus throne means you have to be light. That means you are not holding anything, you're not carrying anything. Uh, sometimes there are certain feelings we keep holding, keep holding. And then they become burden, right, on the soul. So then yoga becomes difficult. So most important at this time actually is, as the time and situations are, that our yoga is with Baba. So I help myself and also create atmosphere where others also remain uh, loving and light. Because when you are light, you are loving. When there is heaviness of any kind, even like sometimes you have eaten food and you feel heavy, so then irritation begins, right? And when you are irritated, then somewhere you are disappointing yourself and others also get disappointed with you. They never thought you will be like that, you know. So how to keep our courage mm -hmm. and, you know, always Baba said loving and sweet, loving and sweet. Because as much our atmosphere is ha of happiness and love, we remain light. So how to create that atmosphere through our stage is big service actually. Mm -hmm. So... I think I really enjoy, was enjoying in the during meditation the worship or the image. I was seeing the idols in front and image within me. You know, when we go to temples, so we did all goddesses program, and now Diwali is coming. We will have Ma Lakshmi, Lakshmi Narayan. All these beautiful, they are all idols, right? So we keep idols in front and my image also. So when you really, even for a few moments, feel your image as worship worthy, image of a goddess, image of a god or a deity. Did you experiment today with that? Maybe towards the end, you can experience that for five, ten minutes. Idol will be worship worthy, but I am the image. And image is of present, and idol is when we are worshippers, there will be our idols which will be. So, what feelings do you get from the idol? People are so intoxicated to look at the idols, they must be feeling something, you know. They sing so much praise 
Sometimes they have whole night awakening for goddesses. Mm -hmm. So they feel a lot of power, they feel a lot of their love, their protection. Mm -hmm. There's something that they keep singing the praise. Whole night they have awakening. They are awake whole night and they keep singing, keep singing. And a lot of intoxication. Is the intoxication helps them not to sing for six, seven hours continuously. Mm -hmm. So each one of us also have to have that intoxication now uh, because I was said, prepare, be ever ready. One of the way to ever ready is to be the embodiment, right? I am the image, I am the embodiment, so I have to be ready for that. And I think we are, but sometimes I like when Baba says that self-sovereignty get divided between Maya and God, right? So since I heard that, I am so amused and attentive. Now Maya is coming, now Maya will create conflict within me. My dharma will be broken. The law order, uh, love, law of Srimad, order of love will be disrupted. And that happens. Uh, so we have to be, if you want to create uh, heaven, paradise, God's kingdom, self-sovereignty which Baba gave first has to be maintained more and more consistent. So when there is self-sovereignty, then there will be a throne of Baba's heart and then world throne. Mm -hmm. But even to sit on Baba's heart throne, you cannot keep shaking. No? Baba will put you off. You have to be very light and stable to sit on heart throne. It's one of the blessings of where I read recently when Baba said, you cannot move, you cannot shake if you want to sit on Baba's heart throne. You have to be very light and stable to sit on the heart throne, right? And that is also God's heart throne. So prepare ourselves for seated on the throne uh, because worship where the soul has crown and has throne. Mm -hmm. So Baba gave us three, three thrones and two crowns. Mm -hmm. Holiness and highness. So keep that personality. Keep that image which is very, very important. So it's lovely, lovely experience of stage of being worship worthy moving towards the stage of easy yogi and consistent yogi. Om Shanti.